Before we get started with this second set of notes, we're going to kind of recap what our equation is doing up here. Okay, so if you remember, um, the h value is shifting left and right. It's supposed to read minus, so if it says um, x minus 3, that means it's shifting 3 to the right, and if it says x plus 3, that's really minus negative 3, so that would be shifting left 3 to the left. Okay, and our k out here is supposed to read plus k, so it is shifting up and down, and it's cor the correct sign. Okay, so as we look at this number 5, um, remember that um, when our base is between 0 and 1, that means it's going to be decay. So that's going to start high and end low. There's nothing added to the um, x value out there, which means that our h value is 0. So we're going to put 0 in the middle of our, always put our h value here. So we're going to put our 0 in the middle, and we're going to count down and count up. Our k value out here is 1, which means that our graph is moving up 1. Okay, it also means that when we draw in our axes, remember how we had an asymptote? The asymptote was where the graph approached but never hit. It was generally the x-axis, but now that the graph has shifted up 1, our asymptote is going to shift up one, so that is the line our, our graph is going to approach but never touch. Okay, and it's matching, it's because of this up one right here. So you're going to go to your calculator and you're going to enter this graph into the table and go to your table. Um, so at negative three, we have, I'm pulling this from my calculator for negative three, we have 28, negative two, we have 10. Negative 1 is 4, 0 is 2, um, this is 1 and 1 third, or 1.33, this is 1.11, and really what matters, we're not going to be able to graph these so much, but it's just that they're getting really, really close to 1, and never going to touch it. Okay, so as we go over and graph our points, these points here are the really important points, and then when you get down to this bottom portion down here, you just need to know they're, they're approaching your asymptote. Okay, so negative 328 is off of our graph, but we can graph negative 210 and negative 1, 4 and 0, 2. And then the rest of these points are just going to get closer and closer to our dashed line. And skirt right along it. So it's just going to get closer and closer, but never cross the red, red dashed line. And there's your graph. Okay, so when we look at number 6 over here, this plus 2 means that the whole thing is shifting left 2. Okay, remember you're going to put your h value down here in the middle, so that's a negative 2, and then we count down and count up. Okay. This 2 here so it tells us that it's a growth function because our base is bigger than 1. Okay, so go ahead and take a minute to put your equation into the calculator. So at negative 4, I get 1 fourth. So this is one eighth, one half, one, two, and then these are going to be reciprocals. So that's going to be four and eight. Draw our axes in. It's not shifted up or down at all, so your asymptote is still here on the x-axis. We're going to plot our numbers in. We've got negative 2, 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, 8. Those are the important ones, and the rest of them are just going to scoot right along the x-axis, but never cross it. Alright, on number 7, 
So take a second to look at it and decide whether it's growth or decay. We're basing that off of the base here. So and because that base is bigger than one, this is a growth function. And then we're going to look at this. This is shifting. The whole thing is shifting right three. So we're going to put three in the middle, our h value in the middle down here, which is three, and count down, count up. Okay, and then <clears throat> this two says the whole thing is shifting up to. So when we go and graph, we'll draw in our axes. The asymptote that we're approaching is going to be here. It's shifted up to because of this up to instead of being the x-axis. And you're going to give me a second, and you're going to put all of those, the equation into your calculator. Um, at 3, we get 3. This is 2 and 1 third. These are just getting closer and closer to th 2. They're just very small numbers. They're closer and closer to 2. We get 5, 11, and 6 is going to be off our graph at 29. Okay, so we have the points that we can graph. We've got um, 2 is at 2 and 1 third. And then uh, to the right of it here, it's going to go up. So we've got 4 or 3, 3, 4, 5, and 5, 11 would be right there. And the rest of these are just going to scoot right along our red dashed line. On number 8, this is a decay function based off of our base being less than 1, between 0 and 1. Our plus 1 out here is really a minus negative 1. So that is shifting left one, which means our h value that we're worried about, that we're going to put down here is negative one. Okay. The plus four is shifting everything up four, which means when we draw in our axes, we're going to go up four to put our asymptote in. And our asymptote is going to be up here. So the whole thing is going to be above that red dashed line because the whole graph is shifted up for. Go to your calculator, put your um, points in. And we're going to count down. Okay, this is a decay function, so we're starting high. This is going to, 4, negative 4 gives us 12, negative 3 gives us 8, negative 2 gives us 6. Negative 1 is 5. This is 4.5. This is 4.25. And this just gets closer and closer. 2 just gets closer and closer. So we can start back here at negative 4. 12 would be up here. Negative 3, 8. Negative 2, 6 negative one five and then they're just going to get closer and closer to our red dashed line closer and closer to the asymptote but never touch it okay last graph that we're going to look at today this is a growth graph but it has been do you guys remember what the negative does to a graph so this is a growth graph because that's a two but it's going to be reflected over the x-axis. Okay, so your normal graph would look like this. But if we reflect it over the x-axis, this one's going to end up looking like that as you flip it down over the x-axis. Okay, so we're going to it's not shifted at all. We're going to start at zero here, and then do negative one, negative two, negative three, 
one, two, three, and go to your calculator and put your equation in. This time we get negative one half, negative one, two, negative two, negative four, negative eight. So this would be negative one fourth and negative one eighth. They're just very close to zero, but approaching it from the bottom side because it's reflected down. Our asymptote is still here because it's not shifted up or down. So when we plot our points, we get 0, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2, negative 4, and 3, negative 8. So this is scooting right along the axis and then shooting down. For this part over here, I want you guys to describe in your own words based on what we've talked about, and then we'll talk about it tomorrow in class.